Well, hi everyone, and welcome to the Honig Trail Apiary. Uh, we're going to show you what we do during one of our weekly hive inspections. And one reason we do at least a weekly hive inspection, maybe stretch it to two weeks. Number one, uh, probably the main reason is um, the area that we're in is got a lot of Africanized bees in it. Most of the wild or feral colonies out there are Africanized. And um, I think uh, checking your hives uh, on a weekly basis or every two weeks at, at the most probably is um, a good way to monitor your colony to see if it's Africanized or not. The queens in these two hives are Italian queens. They are marked. And the bees that are in these hives are very, very gentle and um, just a pleasure to work with. If these were ever taken over by Africanized bees, it would be a completely different story. So we try to get out once a week, go through the hives, make sure we see our known marked queen, and we just try to check the general health of the hive. Uh, if the queen is laying eggs good, there's a lot of good brood being produced. The bee population is increasing. And just overall, they look good. And then, of course, their disposition is still nice and gentle. And, but at the same time, they, they're productive. So that's what we do. We go through the hive. We, as you'll see, we look for the queen, and then we check the overall health and, uh, of the bees and make sure that that colony is doing good. So uh, keep watching and we'll go through each hive and you'll be able to see the bees and everything and how we do and what we do in our general hive inspection. And today we're going to do one of our weekly inspections of our two hives. So to manage your hives, to per hopefully prevent them from becoming Africanized, you really need to do a pretty good weekly inspection. Mine happen to be uh, very close by, and uh, I can just walk out and do a weekly inspection. And what we're gonna be looking for is, now these are both Italian colonies with Italian queens. Both queens are marked, which is very important. And we're going to be making sure that we've got our known queen in there, the marked queen. And that uh, that will tell you right there she's not Africanized and your colony probably will not be Africanized. These bees are extremely gentle, as you will see. And um, um, a weekly inspection is just almost mandatory if you're in a heavy Africanized bee area to make sure that they don't get taken over by Africanized bees and to keep them gentle Italian bees as much as possible. So we're going to get into doing our weekly inspection of our two hives. So um, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to go on our first hive here. And uh, you might be able to see here, we are still feeding our bees some one-to-one -one sugar syrup. And anytime we pull off the cover, and certainly the inner cover, we always check just in case the queen might be up there. Because that's probably one of the first priorities is to locate your queen. making sure she's not on the inner cover. So, so having a marked queen has two real distinct advantages. One being, uh, as far as in, in an area where there's Africanized bees, it will tell you 
that that's your queen that belongs in that hive. It's not an Africanized queen. And then the other reason is it just makes her easier to spot. Oh, we're gonna, these bees are just kind of coming along. And I'm seeing some eggs and larvae in there, a little bit of capped brood. And there goes a bee with a nice load of pollen. Probably just came into the hive recently. I'm seeing a number of bees with uh, pollen, and there's the queen, so let me point her out to you. And she's right here, at the point of my finger. And this is an Italian queen. There she is, my thumb. So she's just doing her thing. So we're going to carefully put this frame back in the hive now that we've located the queen and ID'd her. So we know that's her. And we're just going to kind of take a quick look at the... i got quite a bit of capped brood here. So once you see the queen and you're seeing a good fair amount of uh, eggs that the queen has laid and then other various stages of larva, you know she's doing good. And that all those developing bees, once they come out as new bees, hopefully they will have the same general traits. Of course, uh, the way you manipulate your, your hive and everything else, um, Uh, and if you treat them gently, then they kind of repay the favor, I guess. That's the way I kind of look at it. There's a lot of other factors involved in that. Okay, well, I don't need to really look in here anymore now because uh, I've already seen the queen. I've seen eggs, various stages of larva. Bees are bringing in some pollen. And everything seems to be good in the hive. So I think we're all done inspecting this hive. So we're going to put it back together. And let them continue to do their thing. And again, these are eight frame hives. I'd always try to remember to take our frame rest off. All right, now the cover. And we've been getting some rain here as of late. Okay, we're going to get ready to go over and check out the other hive. Okay, this hive, uh, this they're actually both going to be flow hives because uh, they're eight frame. And this one, I've already put the Flow Super on here. It's been on here for a little over a week, almost two weeks. And uh, I wanted the bees to, even though there's not really a honey flow on here right now, I wanted the bees to be able to go up in here and check things out and um, get used to it. And that's exactly what they're doing. And we're going to open this little door here and see if we see any bees in here. This is a little observation window. And yes, indeed, there's a couple bees in here. They're just kind of hanging out, checking things out. Now, as in a previous video, I did coat the plastic honeycomb in here, or the frames, you might say, with beeswax because they don't come coated. And I just gave them a light coating of beeswax just to help entice the bees to come up in here. It's kind of like, again, uh, when you if you use plastic foundation, uh, I'm not even sure you can get uncoated plastic foundation. Uh, it's usually coated with beeswax. And again, that's an enticement to get the bees up in there. So they're definitely coming up in here. And that's one thing I like about these Flow Honey Supers is you've got a little observation window to kind of see what the bees are doing. Now let's take a look into the rear, see what's going on. All right, let's uh, 
take a look in the rear here. I'm sure we'll see some bees in here. Uh, yes, indeed. I see some here, kind of here, over here. They're not really storing any honey or anything like that because the honey flow hasn't really started here yet. But, again, they're kind of coming up here, getting used to it. Um, I don't know, maybe they're putting a little bit of beeswax down or maybe they're cleaning some of the honeycomb out. But at least some of them are hanging out in here and getting used to it. And that's the whole idea. Um, so hopefully once a honey flow really starts, then the bees will already be used to this and will start going up in there and uh, not wasting any time to start putting nectar in, in the flow hive frames. All right, so we're going to go in and start checking out the flow hive here. Gonna take off our inner cover. All right, let's get down into the brood chamber. And right now I'm just running a single brood chamber. Uh, I haven't really needed to put a second brood chamber on here. I'm not even sure if I will. All right, so let's take off the queen excluder. So again, what we are going to be looking for in this hive is the queen, of course, and to check the general welfare of the bees to see how they're doing. All right, so these there's a lot more bees in this colony than the other one. And these bees came out of uh, New Mexico. It's an Italian queen. She is marked. And even though the frames are, and foundation is not drawn out yet, you still want to always look for the queen, see if she's there. She, she could be. She could even be on the side wall. But generally, she's going to be on the frames that have developing brood. And I want to move very slowly and carefully. To make sure if the queen happens to be there, you don't accidentally injure her or squish her. So I'm seeing... There's some capped honey in here. Uh, the bees are storing some other kinds of nectar or perhaps sugar syrup. And pollen. So they're putting in some good resources here. Okay, now this frame, the bees have drawn out. And I'm seeing a lot of eggs and various stages of larva bees with pollen that they haven't quite and there's my queen so let me point her out to you again she's right here right at my fingerprint finger point tip of my finger and she's marked and again this is a basically an italian queen so okay we know we've still got our queen and we're going to put her back in here very carefully. And I'm seeing a lot more bees with, uh, with uh, pollen. So the bees are finding some kind of flowers somewhere that they're getting pollen and then presumably nectar too. And here's a bee here that's got a nice load of pollen. Right here, she's going around looking for a place to deposit it. You can see the pollen on her hind legs there. Nice big load of pollen. Now this frame has got a lot of brood on it. Pollen. A lot of capped brood. More eggs. Developing various stages of larva. Alright, so I think we're done inspecting this hive. We've seen everything that we want to see and everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and Close this colony up. All right, that concludes our one of our weekly inspections of our two hives here. And uh, everything seems to be good. We saw both queens. They're both active and they're laying various stages of larva, some capped brood. Uh, we noticed that there's a lot more 
pollen being brought in by the bees. We're seeing some stored um, nectar or it could be some of the sugar syrup. So that's today's activities from the Honig Trail Apiary. Thanks for watching.